the glory and thanks to the Lord, Yahovah, and to share with you how blessed I have been, not just this year, but the couple last year uh, that I have been in Metropolitan Church. Uh, God has been blessing me in many, many ways that I cannot count, and there is not enough time to tell you about all of these blessings, but I will tell you a few of these. These years, in the last, I have been blessed to be participating in Vacation Bible School, some crusades, and adventure clubs. Uh, but there, there are, has been a bliss to me and my family. But there is one that really touched my heart and changed my spiritual life for you. I will say that it will happen to some of you too, as it really did to me. And I give the credit and glory to God and thanks to you too. This is a revival 40 days of prayers that we as a church have been doing for the last couple of years Amen. since I have been here. And um, I have been in this church. And I want to thank again to every one of you for all your cares to us and for all the members that you have been cared especially for your prayers. Amen. There is a verse in the Bible that says that the prayer of the just came everything. Yes. And I am very sure about that for own experience. Thanks for all your calls, for your, your attentions, and thanks for everything that you have been doing for us. Thank you to Pastor Baiza and his wife, Esmeralda. And 40 days of prayers has changed my life in many ways, and my husband is a witness of that, what I'm talking about. <laughs> 40 days of prayers have been really strengthened me and give me the wisdom to help not just me and my, fam my family, as wife and husband, but to my parents, to my sisters, and to all the family members of Fresno, to God give me that wisdom that you really need when you are struggling and having a hard times and problems too. Uh, how to handle it and trust God in God and put everything on his hands. Some of you know, some of you know for what uh, Fredo's family has been passing since July when we lost a dear one in the most awful way that someone can lose his family. And not just that, but some many other things that we as a family still fight about. We for sure can trust that we have the victory of Jesus Christ because it's a promise that he told you and we trust in him. And I thank God for the mercy and love that he has given for all of us and for all his promises, no? For all the promise and for one of them that helps me is James 1, 2, 3, 6. My brothers, Count it all joy when you fall in various trails, knowing that the tasting of your faith produces patience, but the let the patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any one of you lacks of lack on wisdom, let him ask of God who gives of who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given him. But let him ask in faith with no doubt, doubting, for he who doubts it like a way of sea drives and toss the way. I remember when Pastor Hans was saying, you, give, you rejoice and give the glories and thanks to God when you are in a good times. But what when there are the bad times that come out? There is one of the problems that really helps me and my whole family. And thank you so much for this opportunity to give thanks and the glory to the Lord and to thank you, you too as my family church. Amen. God bless you, every one of you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Brian also asked us to participate in memorable moments. And um, we didn't know how to narrow it down. There's, <laughs> there's so many. I can rem remember our first visit here. I think I... Anybody who knows us knows that I, I'm a crier. So <laughs> our first visit here, I was just back there bawling. I couldn't voice why, but it was just an overwhelming feeling of God answering my prayers. It's just like he, he read my dreams and he knew what I desired in my heart. And then we came here and I was just, is this really happening? Um, I saw the children how involved they were and how dedicated they were and it, 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 it was really touching and I knew that okay you know he's, he 
he's answering my prayers. So, and we've been here ever since. So that's one. Um, the other memorable moment that that stands out is our baptism with Pastor Brisa. Um, we went out to Galveston and our family was baptized. Life changing. Life has life has not been the same. Life is new. And I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm I'm amazed that it took us this long, honestly. But everything in his time. Um, the next memorable moment is my son. He also made his own decision. He didn't he didn't decide when we all decided. He kinda waited and thought it out and he decided later. Um, that he also sh should be baptized, and that was also very memorable. Amen. Another prayer answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just about summed up some of the, the highlights. I mean, like you said, there were so many moments that I can think of that um, it's been almost two years, actually. I can't believe it. Time has gone by that fast since we moved to Texas. Um, but moving your family across country to a place that you've never been before. And uh, when I arrived here, Michelle helped me get set up in the house, and I had to take her back to the airport, and I knew I wasn't going to see her for another three months. And this is my best friend, my life partner, we do everything together. Uh, I was struggling with that decision. Wow, did I do the right thing? You know, I'll pick my, <laughs> I'm here by myself now. I'm going to be three months without my best friend and, and my kids. They're okay, too. So, <laughs> but really my best friend and uh, I was really struggling and I just remember uh, being invited to Sister Ruby's house and we had, a little, we had a little gathering there and I remember we all we did, a little, we did some Bible study and then afterwards we sat around and we broke some bread and uh, just had some really really wonderful conversation I remember getting back in my car thinking wow this is going to be alright I got I got some support here. I got some family here, and uh, this is this is going to be all right. So I thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts for uh, supporting us in this decision to move across country. Uh, without you guys, I'm telling you, it would have been would have been really tough. It would have been really really tough. So I, God is good. I went out. I did this on faith. I made this move on faith. I was hoping this was going to be the best thing for my family. That it would draw us closer to God. And uh, when you walk out on faith. And you don't know where you're going. And we studied Abraham today. And God said, go. I felt in my heart. I'm not comparing myself to Abraham, but I felt in my heart God saying, it's time to go. And I didn't know what was on the other end. But I found out that God, through all of you, was waiting for me. And so I thank you guys, and we appreciate it. And uh, just continue to support us as we continue to grow as Christians and continue to grow in our faith. We appreciate you, and we love you all. And I, I never uh, actually got a chance to thank the church, who I consider my friends. I do. I consider you all friends, and, and more so like family. And in our time of need, I, my mother was sick unexpectedly, and my church family rallied together for me and in support made it such an easy um, option for me to, to go and visit her at the last minute. And with all of your prayers and that that's the only thing that I can think of that worked because they they honestly they had no answer for her it's the only thing that worked and she is she's much much better she she also sends her thanks for all of your prayers and support so I thank you so much for that Amen. Amen.